Hey guys, so it is Tuesday, March 15th at 8.38 in the morning. If you guys are wondering, Lauren, why are you so dressed up? Well, I was supposed to go to work today. Um, I was supposed to work from 9.45 to 6.15. I didn't work yesterday. I worked the day before then. But I woke up feeling really, really anxious. This happened to me last Wednesday and it was terrible. If you guys saw my tweet last Wednesday when I was like, oh my God, today's going to be such a bad day. Like I'm a positive person, but I know today's going to be a bad day. And the first half of the day was lit. Oh my God, it was a train wreck. I dropped a snow globe in my room. I lost a project. I, oh my God, it was so bad. And it was all because of my anxiety and I literally could not keep it under control. So I thought, probably not the best idea to go to work. I'm really good with coping mechaniz mechanisms. I don't get panic attacks that often. Um, and my anxiety is usually not terrible in general. But I woke up. The best way I could explain this is how I explained it to my mom. Because I don't really know how to explain anxiety to someone who doesn't have it. Um, so you know when you wake up from a bad dream that you had like earlier like whenever it was like you just wake up in the morning from a bad dream and you just feel really off and sometimes you think about that dream all day that's what I felt like when I woke up this morning except I didn't have a bad dream I was perfectly fine I just felt like that so that's literally what I feel like right now so I thought I would vlog get myself together since I'm not going to work because I know I'm just going to freak out if I go and I'm going to think about it too much and be like, oh my god, I don't want my anxiety to ruin my day, blah, 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 blah. So instead, I'm just going to stay home. I'm going to try and pick up some hours on Sunday, hopefully, to make up for the money that I'm not making today. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a full day of eating because I got some Kodiak cakes and I want to make them and I want to show you guys the reaction on camera. And yeah, I just love food and I'm going to be here all day basically. Um, I ran some errands yesterday so I don't think I'm really going to be going anywhere. I might get food out maybe. I don't know. It depends on how my macros are looking after I eat these waffles. Current outfit of the day. This little jacket is from G-Stage. Feels just like a Victoria's Secret hoodie. I'm wearing my bralette from G-Stage. And I'm wearing my new uh, gray leggings from 90 degree. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but if I have my workout collection video up, I'll have it linked down below. And I'm wearing my Polar watch. This is the Polar A300, and this camera is the Samsung NX Mini. Before I have anything to eat, I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of my current macros. I am at 285 carb, 150 protein always. I'll probably never change that throughout my entire bulk. Um, and 65 grams of fat. So here's the deal. It is mid-March and I think I'm going to start cutting in May. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to do a quick cut just to shed some fat or if I want it to be a longer cut and just kind of cut through the summer a little bit and then start bulking when it starts getting a little cooler. I'm not sure. If you guys have any recommendations, leave it in the comments down below. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but I always like to hear other people's opinions of stuff like that. These are the Kodiak cakes that I ended up picking up. They have three of them. One of them had um, like quinoa flour and a bunch of other different types of flowers, but I just picked up the buttermilk and honey one because I thought that sounded pretty good. And here's the macros for one third a cup says it makes about two pancakes but I'm making waffles so we're just gonna follow that I just looked up the power cakes um, which they didn't have at Target which is why I didn't get them the power cakes have uh, 14 grams of protein and about 30 carbs and a little more fat I think so I might try those next time but we're just gonna make these today I would normally spray the pan but I don't know where my spray butter is so I'm gonna be using some of this I'm gonna use about half a tablespoon and just spread it all over here.
on days that I have really bad anxiety, literally the worst things happen. Um, so casually almost got fired. So that's, that's just fine. Um, but we've mixed up our batter here. So we're going to go ahead and make, I think this is going to make about two pancakes, two waffles. Um, I didn't even follow the recipe really, as you guys probably noticed. I added some egg whites. I added some of my protein powder. I've been loving this. I have the uh, salted caramel one and it tastes really, really good. Make the little macro friendly concoction that everybody does. I'm using the sugar free syrup. I love this brand. It's also very, very cheap um, because there's only six carbs in one fourth a cup, which is a lot of syrup. And then I'm also going to be using some of my favorite peanut butter at the moment. This is the Mighty Maple. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the other flavors. I haven't yet. Um, and in two tablespoons, you have 14 grams of fat, 12 carb, and six protein. So we're going to use two tablespoons of this and probably about a serving size of this. So I mixed 32 grams, which is two tablespoons of the peanut butter with some syrup. And this is the macro app that I use, by the way. So I use 30 milliliters of that syrup and I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And then I just spread it all over my waffles. Here's the finishing product. I'll have the end macros on the screen for you guys. finished my waffles which were so good they were a little dry though so I think I needed to add a little more of one ingredient so if you guys know anything about baking and you know what that ingredient may have been I used egg whites I used the mix I used the protein powder which is what made it drier and I used almond milk so let me know if I need a little more a little less of anything and I only used three-fourths a cup of that protein um three-fourths a cup of the pancake waffle mix and I used one scoop of that protein powder so uh let me know if you guys have any idea how to make them less dry they were still amazing but they were a little dry so I'm probably not going to eat anything before I go to the gym because I know I'm still going to be full just getting my stuff together here I'm going to be bringing a quest bar I just picked up a new box yesterday this is the cinnamon swirl quest bars they have 20 grams of protein in each and then I'm also going to be bringing a Powerade Zero just to sip on this doesn't have anything in it hence the reason why I get the Zero because the regular one has about 36 carbs and I don't like to drink my carbs if I don't have to even though I have a lot of them I've decided I'm probably going to get Chipotle while I'm at the mall to eat after the gym. Um, and the top that I'm wearing is from Forever 21. I don't know if my workout collection video is up, like I said before, but if it is, I'll have it down below. But this is the crop top that I'm wearing, and I'm wearing my 90 degree leggings, which make my butt look literally amazing. Like, what? Sipping on this while I work out, this is just some creatine. And all it has is carbs and a little bit of fat. So I'm using the C4 Explosive Energy one. Um, I'm just going to use one scoop of this and I'm going to mix it with this water and just bring it with me. So it is 12.10 and we are on the way to the gym. Not to the gym, to the mall now. I've never tried these leggings on, so I picked up a bunch of stuff. I was bad 
and I got a pair of leggings. I shouldn't have done it, so I'm not getting Chipotle because I spent my Chipotle money. So I had to get them. For Lulu, honestly, they were a steal. Um, I got them for a total of $62. They were $59, they were in the clearance. They fit me perfectly. You guys know I am obsessed with the color red right now, so I had to get them. I'll put a picture up on the screen if I didn't show you guys what they looked like on in the video for some reason. These were originally $128, so I got them for $59. So obviously I had to buy them. The rest of them were like $188, something like that. So I was like, you know what? We'll just get these. So I got the All the Right Places pant, size two. And I got the red one. They have some really nice mesh. Oh my God, they're so nice. When I get to the YMCA, I'm changing into them because I'm squatting in these today because I'm going to feel so great. So it is now about 1.20. So we're going to head to the YMCA, we're going to get a nice little workout in, and then we're going to go home and we're going to make food. I couldn't really make Chipotle fit my macros anyways after I had waffles, so it's probably good that I'm not getting that. So I just got out of the gym, currently eating my Quest Bar. So I started my squats at 95 pounds, that felt really, really easy, so I just skipped to 100, and then I did 105, and then I did 105 again. No, I did 105 and then I did, oh my god, math, hold on. <laughs> I added 2.5, I added 5 pounds, so then I went to 110. What is, what is math, literally? I was really good at math, too, I'm not really sure what happened. And then I uh, did my max squats for 115. And oh my God, the last one was so ugly, I almost fell over. I don't know how I caught myself. I was gonna ask one of the trainers to spot me and then I was like, nah, I'm good. Really should have asked one of them to spot me because it would have went a lot, a lot better. I'm really sorry about this lighting, by the way. Um, but yeah, I did 115 for seven reps. I was trying to go for eight, but the eighth one was kind of like, ugh, and that's where I just kind of started falling apart and I almost dropped the weight, which would have been bad because I probably would have hurt myself but people are watching me vlog. This is really awkward. I'm not actually that hungry, so I'm gonna have a bagel and I'm going to have some yogurt. So basically breakfast for lunch. And this is the Greek 100 apple pie, which is my favorite flavor. And I'm gonna have my protein shake, so I'm gonna have one scoop of this and this is the salted caramel. I'm mixing that with half a cup of almond milk. It is 6.17 now and I look completely bald, but I promise I just have my hair up in a bun. And we're gonna go to my grandparents' house to help my grandmother set up her computer. Here's my final macros for the day. I have 0.9 protein left, no carbs, and five grams of fat. So I'm not gonna eat anything else, but this is it for the day. And in case you guys are wondering what app this is, if you haven't watched any of my other videos for this, it is the My Macros app, the orange one. And I definitely recommend it. So that is it for today's full day of eating. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know to do more in the future. And I don't know when this is going up, but get excited for a physique update coming very soon. I'll be filming it in exactly 10 days. I always film it on the 25th, whether the video goes up that day or not, just so it's like exactly a month every single month, basically. 
So get excited for that video. If you guys have any Fitness Friday requests, leave them in the comments down below. And if you guys are wondering why I always finish my videos in the bathroom, it's because all the lighting in my house by this time is terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this dinner now. It's 8.46 and watch the new Bates Motel episode and I'll see you all in my next video. I love you. Bye. Bye.